quickly and by quickly I mean very quickly becoming a prom season if not it already is prom season I know that a couple of proms have already happened so I'm really really sorry if I did miss your prom but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a new prom video every Thursday and I'm also going to have an entire prom playlist where I might not have videos that say this is a prom video, but I'm going to have all different types of makeup tutorials that range from pinks to smoky eyes to purples to blues to neutral looks to literally anything you guys can think of will be in that prom playlist, so be sure to check it out. But I started to kick off, or I guess second kick off, because I already did me shopping for my prom dress. If you guys want to see it, click the first link in the description box below, or you can click my face right now um, to see me shopping for my prom dress. But this week I decided to do a how to do like a flawless face of makeup, face makeup I should say, because I think that is a really big key of prom makeup and I didn't want to, you know, skip through my face makeup for each time, but I also didn't want to show it each time because I take up a lot of time for each eye makeup. So this one is just for the face. Um, but if you guys like what I'm wearing right now, I can do a tutorial on it for sure. Just let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see it. But I'm going to stop taking up your time and rambling because I know this is a super, super long video and I'm really sorry, but let's get into it. Okay, I'm really excited for this video, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. I spent so much time preparing for this video that I just want to get all my makeup on because I can feel that it's going to be a strong selfie day. So the first thing you guys definitely want to do for prom is apply primer or moisturizer. I actually recommend both, but I already have my moisturizer down. Um, and you just want to let that set for about 10 minutes or so. So I'm not going to waste any time and just go right into the primer. Now this is the Laura Jella Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. Use whatever primer you guys know, what you like. Pretty much on prom you want to use all products that you know your skin reacts well to. And if you're new to makeup or you don't really know what your skin likes, I would start experimenting about two months or a month before prom. Um, two weeks before prom is the absolute latest I would do it because if you tend to have a bad reaction, your skin is going to need about two weeks or so to clear up. So definitely give your skin some time. The products that I'm using fit with my skin, so just because they work for me doesn't mean that they work for you. And I definitely know that one of the products, it doesn't work for a ton of people, but it works for my skin. And I'll get into that once I get to the product, but that's, again, just my little spiel on it. So I'm gonna take the Spackle Primer, and what I'm gonna do with this is rub it between my fingers, and then I'm gonna put it right where a lot of my pores are. I think I got too much. I'm gonna put it where a lot of my pores are, so right here around my nose and on my nose, and also where a ton of creasing occurs. So right around my smile lines right here is where I get a ton of creasing. And anywhere else that I know that my makeup kind of slides throughout the night, so it happens to be on my forehead and right up where my hairline is because I tend to like sweat when I'm at it, like a dance setting and I want to keep that on and then a little bit under my eyes and being really careful with underneath my eyes because you don't want that to, you know, like you don't want to rub too hard underneath your eyes and then do not forget your neck kids, I'm, I'm telling you. Okay, once that's on, it's good to let this set for just a little bit before you put on your foundation. So we're going to go in with corrector and corrector is what is going to even out your skin tone and it's going to, not even at your skin tone, but it's going to correct any discoloration. Um, so like for me, under my eyes are purple. I have a little red spot right here, a little red spot right here. This pimple, not pimple, this birthmark is like red and it just doesn't ever go away. So that's the spots that I'm really going to correct. And I'm taking the Graftobian Corrector Palette and the cool thing about this is it tells you what every color does on the back. So if you don't know or you forget what each color does, no sweat girl because they got you covered. So I'm going to take a small concealer brush. This is I think from Coastal Scents. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this yellow right here and put this underneath my eyes because yellow will counteract with the purple and make it neutral. So that's just going right underneath my eyes and this is also going to clean up my face. I mean my eye makeup because I did an intense smoky lash under my eyes because I felt like it. That's another thing I'd recommend is definitely do your eye makeup first for prom. Don't spend all the time doing flawless face makeup and then you go in 
and do your eyes and all the fallout goes on your eyes or you need to blend and then you blend away any under eye products that you use. So definitely just do your eyes first, girl. And then if you need to touch up your eyes, it's so much easier to touch up your eyes than it is to touch up your face. Trust me on that one. I'm gonna take a little bit of the screen and then go down the center of my nose because I have quite a bit of redness on my nose. All right, that looks, that looks good. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to kind of cover up any areas before I go in with concealer after my foundation. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me in number 15. I like doing this step, but just for like a full coverage face for prom, it's what I really like doing. So this is, like I said, the concealer. And what I'm gonna do is just apply this to my under eyes. And I apply a pretty generous amount because the tool that I use soaks any excess product up. And I'll go into that in just a second. I'm also gonna put it down forehead and kind of feather it out. Being careful of my brows. I might do, I'd probably do my brows last, but me being stupid, I already did them. I'm gonna put on my chin and then down right there. Tool that I'm talking about is the Beauty Blender, the holy grail of makeup, the Beauty Blender. Um, so what I'm gonna do with this is just tap this concealer in and blend it into my skin. And this is going to highlight and provide some full coverage. Now I don't really like using shimmery highlighters before my foundation. I used to, um, like in the beginning of my channel, but then I kind of grew up a little tiny bit, and by that I mean um, a day, and I realized that I didn't like it anymore, so I don't do it anymore. Now I just use a concealer that's a little tiny bit too light because I am pretty pale. But I do plan on being tanner for prom. I'll probably still use this um, shade though because I really like the effect that it gives. But as you guys can see, the Beauty Blender just like absorbs everything. This is gonna be a long video, I can already tell. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation and this is the MAC Face and Body Foundation. I'm using this because I like the finish that it gives. I don't really need that much coverage. As you guys can tell, that pretty much did as much coverage as I really need. This will just even everything out and it gives me a really nice finish and also adds some color back into my skin. This, however, does break a lot of people out. It broke me out, in fact, but after that, my skin got used to it and now it, like, it reacts to other stuff when I don't use this, and then I use this and my skin like clears up immediately. So I take this on a flat kabuki brush like this. So there's always like a lot on my cap, so I just take that and then just stipple that on. And I work from the center of my face. Okay, I try to blow my hair back. I work from the center of my face out so that it's always the lightest right here in the center. And then it goes out. Oh, oh my god, I cannot believe I almost forgot to say this. It is so important to not have any product that has SPF in it. And some products don't have SPF in it, but they still photograph with a white cast. Okay, so once that is on, um, don't forget to bring it onto your neck. I'm going to move on to concealer. And this is the um, NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it on my cheekbones right there to highlight a little bit. I'm also going to put it right underneath my eyes. I'm going to go with my Beauty Blender because it just soaks up all excess. Now I'm going to go in and set my under eyes and um, to set your under eyes, if you highlighted them, I'd recommend using a lighter powder or a translucent highlighting powder, which is the one that I'm using. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I love this. I've gone through like two full containers. It's like my third one. I love it. And recently I've been applying it with the Beauty Blender and I'm obsessed. So what I do is I just dip. Oh, okay. Alright, so I just dip the product in and it's going to be a lot. And I just set my under eye. I know, like I said, it's a lot. <laughs> but trust me, the more powder you use, this sounds crazy, but the more um, concealer and powder that you use, the less your under eyes move and they and the less they crease. I know that sounds ridiculous and I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. Like they don't crease as much if you were to use less 
concealer and less powder. Now, normally I would not set the rest of my face with a powder, but on prom everything is an exception. So I'm gonna take a translucent powder because I don't want um, to have a cakey layer of powder on. I just want it to set in place, so I'm just taking a powder and lightly brushing all the places that I didn't hit with the highlighting powder and I'm patting it, not rubbing it because if you rub it, you're going to rub away your makeup that you just applied all nicely onto your face, so don't do that. So thank you guys so much for watching my incredibly, incredibly long video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it and stop talking so fast. Also be sure to subscribe right there so you guys don't miss any more videos because I upload twice a week, once on Thursdays and once on Sundays. Also be sure to click right there to see my video from last week and it's a pretty fun one if I do say so myself. And yeah, be sure you guys are subscribed and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye.